Good morning, everyone. Welcome, welcome to another exciting episode of the NLBC News, where we bring to you all of the most exciting gaming, science, technology, and VTubing news. Today we have very many exciting stories and many special announcements, so stay tuned. Starting off at the top here, though, we have an interesting story and a, a kind of a very sad story in the technology sector. <clears throat> Conspiracy theorists begin locking their routers in jail to protect to protect themselves from the evil Wi-Fi. We all knew Wi-Fi was evil all along. Electromagnetic radiation is something that passes through the air, through walls, and many other mediums every day. It is one of the most important types of radiation that keeps the technological world going. One instrument, one important part electromagnetic plays is in the wireless fidelity routers or Wi-Fi routers that we all basically all of us that are watching this keep in your house. Wi-Fi uses radio waves to transmit information between devices and a router and uses either a 2.4 gigahertz wave or a 5 gigahertz wave depending on the amount of data being sent. Knowing how important electromagnetic, electromagnetic radiation is, what if you believed this ever-present waveform was harming you? Well, if you did believe such an insane lie, you might want to put a Faraday cage around your router to protect yourself. A Faraday cage is a closure made of metal that is used to block electromagnetic fields. So a successful Faraday cage would cut your Wi-Fi strength in half, or even more, depending on its make, and would protect you from the harmful electromagnetic radiation that your Wi-Fi router produced, if it produced any of that. Just because it's called radiation doesn't mean it's harmful, people. The reason beta and alpha radiation from nuclear reactors and other nuclear sources and such is harmful is because of how it interacts with the human body. Light is a form of electromagnetic radiation. Are we going to start covering ourselves in aluminum foil to, so we don't get hit by light too? Someone's probably going to. <clears throat> Conspiracy theorists are ignorant people, and where there are ignorant people, there are people waiting to take advantage of them. Amazon sells about anything, and now on Amazon you can say you can find Faraday Defense Router Shields. These shields are mesh cages built to fit your Wi-Fi router inside. As we can see here in this picture, this product states it blocks up to 95% EMF RF waves and is selling for a crispy $190. Well, maybe it really works and you just really want to block, block virtually all of your Wi-Fi signal and be forced to call ID support because you can no longer surf Facebook and chat with your best friend friend uh, General Pointy Tin Hat across the world, but, you know, maybe there's a reason. Let us look at some reviews from some of these products to see what the consumers might have to say. This consumer here was quite unhappy with the product. As they, they say, the Wi-Fi signal decreases with the box closed. Here we go, let's give a reenactment of the voice. I would be returning this item as the Wi-Fi signal is not strong enough to reach my room when the lid is closed. Bummer. Well, who would have thought that a cage built to block EMF radiation blocks EMF radiation, which your Wi-Fi signal is one of them? Who would have thought? <laughs> Our second one here is another, uh, you know, not so happy consumer stating it doesn't work <laughs> we tried this cage it does not reduce the signal at all on either of my routers returned it and put them into a solid metal box now i can tell the signal is half of what it was do not purchase this item it is a ripoff <laughs> seller is making money by uh, either way by charging a shipping and handling fee of 25 dollars uh, which they did not refund yes karen this is what you get for always asking to speak to the manager. <laughs> so our last one here 
is from what I think to be a Victorian noble. And he and they say in all capital letters in the title, I found this device to be extremely problematic. I am very disappointed. Bleep, bloop, bleep. Here, let me... <coughs> gotta get a little bit more posh. This cage is allegedly designed to keep out wireless signals, but it's also preventing the reception of my Wi-Fi wireless signals on my router. Ah. My signal strength to my Wi-Fi router throughout my castle was reduced almost, but not quite zero. A failure on many levels. If I could give minus 81 stars, I would. Ah. <laughs> angry face <laughs> I did not know this guy lived in a castle I didn't know people lived in castles these days but you know I want a castle <laughs> if anyone out there is selling a castle I'm interested <laughs> But, you know, who could have foreseen these these responses for such fine products? For such logical reasons? It's a mystery even the laboratory cannot figure out. So, moving on to our next story. China expands its weather modification program as they continue to become gods of the world. Why wait for the weather when you can make your own? As if creating 6G before it even was defined wasn't enough, China has made another huge leap forward as it is now taking control of Mother Nature herself. China has massively expanded its weather control project and is aiming to have the capacity to cover half of the country in artificial snow and rain by 2025. Controlling part of the world's natural weather is not a new idea by any means. A practice known as cloud seeding was discovered in the, 19, in, in the US in 1946 by a chemist working for General Electric. Cloud seeding uses chemicals like silver iodide or liquid nitrogen to force water molecules to condense and fall as rain or snow. The chemicals are released into the air by aircraft or by other means from the ground and act as a condensation point for the moisture in the clouds. After its discovery in the United States, China launched its own cloud seeding program in the 1960s. The project is, is expected to be at a worldwide advanced level, Mr. Worldwide, by 2035, and will apparently help alleviate natural disasters like droughts and massive hailstorms, which can kill hundreds of thousands of crops a year, along with the capability of aiding in the control of forest, forest and grassland fires. The weather modif modification program looks useful on paper, but its impact on the world at weather patterns and climate is beyond the scope of this report. To help grow their weather modification program, the Chinese government spent $168 million in 2017 to purchase four aircraft and approximately 900 rocket launches. If you can't get Mother Nature to behave, just assault the clouds with 900 rockets until they do what you want, obviously. With all of this, the Chinese government can now play all of the gacha games along with their own private version of civilization. You want a flood here or a devastating hailstorm there because there's an invading Viking army approaching your borders? Well, just make one yourself, obviously. It's only a matter of time until they acquire the power to call down aliens or meteors and our Facebook overlords are forced to shut down the simulation. Just please don't confide in Gandhi we all saw how that ended in Civilization VI. If you make him angry, he just nukes everything. Just stay away from Gandhi. Stay away. An eye for an eye makes the world blind, but a nuke for a nuke makes everyone dead. <laughs> but it's a very exciting technology, and I'm, I'm, I'm very interested to see its uses in the world, though it still may have greater ramifications on the world's climate. So, moving out of the technology sector, we move into gaming. 
UK gangs reportedly stealing PS5s from delivery trucks. Oh, and also the trucks were moving. <clears throat> Some of you that may think that the United Kingdom is just a bunch of cynical people who drink way too much tea and spend most of the time watching reruns of Harry Potter and Sherlock. Well, while this may be true, one thing you may not have thought is that the British have good gangs. <laughs> in recent weeks, the ga in recent weeks, actually, <laughs> the gangs have begun to up their performance as the PS5 has started to hit the streets in delivery vehicles. The Times reported that PS5, along with other consumers' goods, have been stolen from trucks in, in movement on at least 27 occasions in the UK this year. This technique is called a rollover, and involves multiple cars boxing in a moving delivery vehicle with a thief wearing a rope leaving a car traveling behind to climb onto the vehicle, like some kind of James Bond movie. Once on board, they gain access to the back door and throw the goods back into the car they left, bef they left before climbing back in. <clears throat> now some of you may have heard about similar stories in the United States. But like most things in the US, it's a, hope it's a hopeless copycat. They box the truck in and then stop it. Pfft, amateurs. If you're not speeding up behind the truck, hanging your mate out the side and heckling him into jumping onto a moving vehicle while you call him a tosser, you're doing it wrong. You've got to jump onto that truck and toss those PS5s out the back with, along with little Susie's Easy Bake Oven and take them home and all sell them on eBay for about 2,000 quid each. We here at the laboratory were actually able to find some footage, f footage <laughs> captured from one of these rollover heists, and today we will be sharing the breathtaking footage with you. While we are not permitted to play the audio, your wonderful cat doctor will do her best to reenact the scene for you. <coughs> now before we play the video, I must inform you that this is a video taken in Romania, and while this gang's setup is not quite the same as the one seen in the UK, we can still see a similar herring uh, heist in action. Let us now stop the music, <coughs> and we will now play the video. Oh, we do have. Police from Romania's Department for Organized Crime and Terrorism. We do have the audio. Attempt to rob a lorry. Speeding along a motorway in the dark, the gang can be seen tailgating the truck before two members climb out onto the roof. In a precarious maneuver, one of the men then positions himself on the bonnet to open the truck's rear doors, while the other holds onto his legs. <laughs> Having succeeded in opening the door, the man then appears to change his mind, with he and his accomplice climbing back through the sunroof. Police say the gang, who have since been arrested, stole televisions, cigarettes and coffee in other operations, which they later sold in Bucharest. So, I thought we weren't going to have the audio. But we did. <laughs> so, moving on to our next story, into gaming. This actually is an incredibly short one. An incredibly short news story, Resident Cat Girl Nekomata Luxia reports that Cyberpunk 2077 will be releasing in now two days, but what is yesterday, three days. That is all. That, that's it. That's the story. I promise I, I, I would keep you guys up to date on the release dates and stuff, and that's, <clears throat> that's all the story is. I didn't have anything funny to say about it. It's, just, it's, three, it's three days, now two days. It's, like, day after tomorrow. You're welcome. <laughs> All right, so moving into the VTubing scene, our first story here. Popular VTuber, VTuber group Niji Sanji releases announcement for new monthly program with Quiznock. Could this be a move to knock out the competition? Wink. <laughs> Popular VTuber group Niji Sanji is known for many things, popular talents, and the many different types of online entertainment, but is now expanding their reach into quiz shows. Quiznock is a web-based quiz show ran by graduates and active students at the University of Tokyo, with the concept of, and please excuse the Google Translate, 
understanding things and things around us with quizzes. I'm pretty sure that's not exactly what it said, but it's a summation. <laughs> it's the first official broadcast. Uh, will be Sunday, uh, November the third or December the thirteenth at eighteen hundred JST, and features Sukino Mito, Miyamoto Kiyosuke, Joey Rikichi, Lisa Hilest. Uh, Lise Hilesta, Mayuzumi Kai, Kenmochi Toya, Fua Minato, and Sakoyo Kana. So if you uh, have interesting uh, quiz shows, you might want to check it out. Before we move on to our next story though, can I just say that the lovely nurse in the bottom left, who is Sakoyo Kana, terrifies me. Like, if you thought I was mad, everyone, like, just look at that smile. I'm pretty sure she would strap me to an operating table and tear me to bits while singing London Bridge is Falling Down before feeding me to her pet snakes. I, 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 I'm sure Kanakun is could be a wonderful lady, but uh, I'll, I'll play it safe and not watch the quiz show. <laughs> I don't want to be her GF. I don't want to be her girlfriend. I am I am taken. Uh by the way. <laughs> uh Sequoia Kan uh Kana Kan Kanaka. So Yes, please. I I appreciate your your work ethic as a doctor and as a nurse, but you know, we just don't see eye and eye. <laughs> Alrighty. So, moving on to our second story in the VTubing news. You all might know our resident nurse, Zero Master, or Zero Senpai. Resident laboratory nurse and cat girl Zero Master announces their holiday subathon. What will Santa's little elf bring, us, bring for us this year? Coming up this Saturday, December 12th, at 12pm EST, our wonderful resident nurse, Zero Senpai, will be hosting their 12-hour subathon special. During the stream, Zero Senpai will be playing games like Among Us, Drake of the 99 Dragons, and feature many other types of wonderful entertainment. Which is that second game, I have no idea what it is. As we can see here, Zero Senpai will be featuring their new holiday outfit, but what could it possibly be? Well, I don't even actually know, they, they haven't told, told me or shown me. Uh, but I do have a guess, an elf. Zero Senpai is my nurse, so it would make sense that they would work as Mr. Claus's assistants, right? Bringing all the little boys and girls of the world dead birds and yarns like any good cat would. I, I mean, I definitely would think so. I definitely would think so. So please go uh, check Zero Senpai out. Most of you already know them, uh, but you can go see them at, at Zero Master on Twitter or um, at, uh, Zero Master on Twitch and give them support. So our final, last but not least, story for today is one very, very important story. As we have a new VTuber joining the live dream team, the live dream team here. <laughs> Comfy Pajama Angel, Tenshino Celeste, is debuting this Saturday. Finally, the heavens have graced us. If you thought Project Live Dream had reached the maximum height with bringing Cloud Realm or Cherry Lips Gaming down to Earth, well, you were wrong. This Saturday, our very own angel descended from the heavens as Tashino uh, Celeste joins us. I for one am excited to have our heavenly companion with us and can't wait for all of you to get to meet her. I do have to say though, just looking at all that hair, it's like, it's like, it's like my level amounts of fluff and I just want to snuggle into it like a big blanket. Like it's so, it's so fluffy and it looks so soft. I just want to like, I just want to like touch it. And snuggle it. <laughs> also, those pajamas look way too comfy for our own good. Are, are those satin? They have to be satin. They they just look so comfy and soft. Maybe cotton? I, 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 I don't know. I don't know. But they look incredibly comfy. Also, their eyes. It's, it's kind of hard to see it, but if you like look closer, I'm pretty sure the skies themselves are in those eyes. If, if you look close enough, I think we might be able to see Cherry's house from, from in there. I'm not sure, though. Something to think about. 
Though I do have to say, I am a little concerned on what is going on with their halo. Is it melting? Or, or maybe it's like honey coated? But that doesn't make any sense. I mean, do you know how hard it is to clean something as viscous as honey out of your hair? It's really hard. <laughs> I think this might require some more investigation, but regardless of the results of the investigation, please be sure to give our newest members some love going forwards this Saturday, which you can see the times here on the, stream, on the screen. And you can find her over at uh, on Twitch at Toshino Tenchino Celeste and at Twitter at Celeste Tenchino. Let's see if we let's see if we can give a shout out here. There we go. So please, I'll go check her out. And even though it's very early in the morning for any of those yous from the states at 6 a.m. PST, <laughs> or at 9 a.m. EST if you're on the East Coast, please go give her some love. She's wonderful. And finally, finally, we have our own angel. We've done it. We've done it, boys and girls. <laughs> All right. And that is the last story for us today. Thank you, everyone, for watching this another exciting episode of the NLBC News. I will see you guys all next time on next Tuesday for the NLBC News.